Yo, 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 what's up my fellow Yu-Gi-Oh nerds? It's Black Red coming to you guys back with a deck profile. And today, I'll be giving you guys a Black Lister Soldier. Super Soldier. <laughs> nah, just a regular BLS deck profile. You know, just some cards that I have laying around. Laying around. I, was, I figured, why not just make it into a deck? Uh, so some, I don't have, a, I don't run an extra deck. Just purely main deck. Um, I know the Black Lister Soldiers do have an extra deck. But yeah, like I always tell you guys, just use my deck as a guide to what you guys want. Then you guys could go off from there. If you guys need extra, feel like you need an extra deck, we are a BLS deck, go ahead. Run with it. But let's get into it. So, starting off with the monsters. One triple BLS, Super Soldier, self explanatory. Then the boss monster BLS in the deck. Next, we want just one regular copy of Black Lives Soldier. Just there for nostalgia. Next, you run triple beginning night and triple evening twilight night. These two help you, especially when you're ritual summoning. They give you bonus effects. And then when you banish them, you get to add a ritual spell and a ritual monster to your hand. Personally, I feel like these cards don't just work well in this deck. But they can work well in any, any, any other deck, really. Mostly the banishing effect. But yeah, so like if you guys have another ritual deck and you feel like you need more cards that get you quick resources, I feel like beginning and evening, Twilight Night will get you there. But keep in mind, only the banishing effect will help you do that. Next, run two, and for Chaos. Just for adding for more banishing support to banish your evening and twilight night to get your access to more of your resources faster. Then we're gonna run one black soldier, sacred soldier, one BLS envoy of the evening twilight, double black soldier envoy of the beginning. <laughs> then I run one black dragon, cola serpent, and then white dragon, weapon buster. Once again, just helping you get more to your resources by banishing a dark, banishing light. Most times and often, that would be Twilight and Beginning Night. Then I run Gaia for Nostalgia and for Gateway. Uh, one Super Soldier. So sometimes you have, sometimes you have a BLS in your hand, you can't do anything, and you want to discard it. Here you go. Boom. Then I run one Dijin Demolisher of Rituals, and then Dijin Releaser of Rituals. Just more ritual support for your ritual monsters in the deck. Now then another support for them is in your, imp your Incantation Bookstone. Next, one Phantom of Chaos. Last to run off for all of our monsters is one Spear Karibo. Now, on to the spells. We got triple gateway of chaos. This is of course your main spell in the deck. Helps you get into your BLS or your Gaia faster. Also, by banishing months and by sending cards to the graveyard, you gain spell counters, and you can use those spell counters to get into your ritual spells easier. So I run triple super soldier synthesis and one super soldier ritual. I more often than not like synthesis better. Only because it lets you reach for something from your hand and the deck. So basically, you use the resources from your hand and your deck to summon BLS from your, either your hand or the hand or graveyard. So it's a good bonus. One forbidden dress. One ritual cage. More protection. One terraforming to get into your field spell quicker. Reinforcements. One pile of duality. One monster reborn and one foolish burial. Now to round it off for the whole deck entirely. Let's move on to the traps. We're gonna run one beginning of three beginning of heaven and earth. You want a lot of warrior monsters in the deck sometimes, and you want to get you have, you have a lot of warrior monsters in your deck. You want to get to be less faster. Or just want to send sometimes, you want to send them to the graveyard to just banish them. Which 
a bit your BLS is effect and this helps you do that faster three super soldier rebirths whenever you have BLS in your graveyard you want to switch it out boom here you go also you get special summon BLS back from your hand you get to add a BLS to your hand from your graveyard excuse me next when double super soldier shield sometimes you have BLS on the field and you know it gets targeted you want to protect it I only run two, only because I know sometimes there are certain cards that don't say for that don't say target a monster in the field and just says activates when you have that specific type of monster in the field. But this one specifically says target, so I rather run two than three. Next, gotta go howling. Once again, run a lot of war monsters in the deck. You wanna protect them from opponent's card effects or monsters effects. Here you go, easy way to just bounce your monsters back, opponent's monster back to their hand. Also the damage, turn off for the deck on Metaverse. Once again, help you gain access to your deck faster. I know this deck is not a 40 card deck. So yeah, just a few cards to help you gain your resources faster. Why not? But hope you guys enjoy this deck profile. Once again, please like, comment, subscribe. Any feedback, just let me know what you guys want to see more of. And yeah, Black Merc signing off this contract.